From a quiet orphan to an incredibly powerful magic knight with royal blood, Yuno's transformation is nothing short of remarkable. His character embodies a unique mix of natural talent, intense determination, and quiet loyalty. He stands out not only as Asta's lifelong rival, but also as a driving force in the Clover Kingdom's fate. Welcome back to Zenith and Imazone. Today, we're taking a deep look into the journey of Yuno Grinbrial, one of Black Clover's most pivotal and enigmatic characters. Let's begin with Yuno's origins which are fundamental to understanding his character arc. Yuno and Asta were both abandoned as infants at the Hage Village Church. Growing up together, they developed an almost brotherly bond, despite their drastically different personalities. Asta, the hot-headed and loud dreamer, was always pushing Yuno, while Yuno's quiet, stoic nature served as a counterbalance. Their bond grew even stronger as they made a pact to aim for the same lofty goal, becoming the Wizard King. For both, this ambition was born out of gratitude toward the Clover Kingdom and a desire to protect the people they love. What truly sets Yuno apart is his natural talent and affinity for wind magic. Early on, he displayed an exceptional ability to control magic, mastering skills beyond what most mages at his age could accomplish. This talent didn't go unnoticed. At the Magic Knight's entrance exam, he caught the eye of William Vengeance, the leader of the Golden Dawn, the kingdom's most prestigious squad. Yuno's selection to join the Golden Dawn was a turning point in his life, symbolizing the recognition of his potential. However, it also marked the beginning of a challenging journey where he would have to prove that his success wasn't merely due to his noble connections. Once Yuno joined the Golden Dawn, his training intensified. Surrounded by some of the kingdom's most elite mages, Yuno's talents were tested to their limits, and he quickly rose through the ranks, becoming one of the squad's star members. His quiet determination and intense focus on his goal made him a standout. Unlike many other mages, Yuno's ambition wasn't fueled by arrogance. Instead, he maintained a humble yet relentless drive, constantly refining his magic and growing stronger with every battle. Yuno's connection with his wind magic takes an unexpected turn when he encounters Sylph the Wind Spirit. Known as one of the four elemental spirits, Sylph represents an incredible source of magical power. With Sylph by his side, Yuno's magic receives an unparalleled boost, allowing him to unleash devastating attacks and protect his squad with powerful defensive techniques. This partnership also deepens his understanding of his own powers, allowing him to connect with nature in a way that few mages can. The addition of Sylph is symbolic of Yuno's destiny. It's a reflection of his natural-born talent and the role he is meant to play in the larger story of Black Clover. One of Yuno's most important battles, and arguably a major turning point in his development, is the intense conflict with the Eye of the Midnight Sun. In this arc, Yuno faces powerful enemies, testing his strength, courage, and resilience. It's here that his calm, composed, Poe's nature becomes crucial. While his opponents are strong, Yuno's quick thinking, paired with his relentless determination, allows him to hold his own and protect his squad mates. This arc also showcases his loyalty to the kingdom, as he fights with everything he has to protect the Clover Kingdom and its people. The story of Black Clover takes a surprising twist when Yuno learns of his royal heritage. He discovers that he is actually Yuno Grinbrial, the last prince of the Spade Kingdom. This revelation adds a new layer to Yuno's character and introduces a powerful internal conflict. Up until this point, Yuno's life had been focused on his dream of becoming the Wizard King. However, with the knowledge of his true lineage, Yuno is suddenly faced with the responsibility of reclaiming his homeland and potentially leading his people. This conflict between duty and personal ambition adds depth to Yuno's character, as he must now balance his loyalty to the Clover Kingdom with his duty to the Spade Kingdom. Yuno's royal heritage also explains his extraordinary magical ability. Being a Grin Burial gives him an even greater connection to powerful magic, particularly wind magic, which is closely associated with the Grin Burial family. This revelation puts his talent into perspective, but it also raises questions about fate versus personal choice. Yuno didn't ask to be born into royalty, but his lineage has undeniably shaped his destiny. He must now confront whether his goal of becoming the Wizard King is simply a personal dream or part of a larger, preordained plan. One of the most compelling aspects of Yuno's character is his rivalry with Asta. Despite their different personalities and contrasting approaches to battle, their rivalry is marked by mutual respect and admiration. Unlike typical anime rivalries, which are often fueled by envy or hatred, Yuno and Asta push each other to become stronger out of a genuine bond. 
Yuno admires Asta's unbreakable will, while Asta respects Yuno's natural talent and strategic mindset. This rivalry is central to Black Clover, representing the series' theme that there are many paths to greatness, and that strength comes in many forms. As Yuno's powers evolve, he gains access to advanced techniques like the Spirit of Zephyr, a sword formed from concentrated wind magic. This weapon is an incredible addition to his arsenal, allowing him to combine the fluidity of wind magic with the precision of a blade. The Spirit of Zephyr also symbolizes Yuno's growth as a warrior. He's no longer just relying on ranged attacks or defenses, but is becoming a versatile fighter capable of engaging in close combat as well. This new skill set allows Yuno to hold his own against high-ranking foes and elevates him to a level comparable to the kingdom's most elite warriors. Yuno's development reaches new heights during the Spade Kingdom arc. Here he faces some of the series' most dangerous adversaries and pushes his magic to its limits. This arc highlights the internal struggle he faces as both a member of the Golden Dawn and a prince of the Spade Kingdom. Yuno is torn between his loyalty to the Clover Kingdom and his duty to his birthplace. However, rather than being overwhelmed by this dilemma, Yuno embraces it, using it as motivation to become even stronger. This arc represents Yuno's acceptance of his dual identity and his determination to protect both kingdoms. One of the most admirable aspects of Yuno's character is his unwavering resolve. Despite the challenges he faces and the weight of his responsibilities, Yuno never loses sight of his goal. He remains committed to becoming the Wizard King, even if it means surpassing his limits time and time again. His calm demeanor and unshakable focus serve as an inspiration to his squadmates and a testament to his inner strength. Yuno's journey shows that true power doesn't come from magic alone. It also requires mental fortitude and a clear sense of purpose. Yuno's evolution throughout Black Clover reflects the series' broader themes of destiny, self-discovery, and ambition. As Yuno continues to grow, he exemplifies what it means to forge one's own path while also embracing the responsibilities that come with it. His determination to protect the people he cares about and his unwavering drive to achieve his dreams make him one of Black Clover's most inspiring characters. As the story progresses, Yuno's future remains filled with potential. His dual identity as a prince and a magic knight opens up endless possibilities for his character. Will he eventually embrace his role as a leader of the Spade Kingdom, or will he continue his pursuit of the title of Wizard King in the Clover Kingdom? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, Yuno's journey is far Far from over, and fans can expect even more incredible feats from him. If you've been inspired by Yuno's journey as much as we have, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more in-depth anime explorations here on Zenith Anima Zone.